What's up guys, I'm Drew Binsky, and in this video, I'm gonna show you what $100 can get you in Sicily, the largest island in the Mediterranean. This is everything I want right now. Wow, really, really good. And how much? One euro for this? Holy crap. That's so great. It's about six in the morning right now, and I'm very excited and alive because I just arrived in Sicily for the very first time. And I just rented a car because I'm gonna attempt to drive across the island and do as many things as I can on a hundred US dollars or less. This is gonna be a hell of an adventure and I am excited to bring you with me. If you don't know much about Sicily, here's a 30 seconds breakdown. It's a region in Italy located off the boot's toe. It has almost 5 million residents who speak their own language called Sicilian, and they are proud of it. More than 85% of the island is made up of hills and mountains, and it has the tallest active volcano in Europe, Mount Etna, as well as well-preserved Greek ruins, most notably the Valley of the Temples. Whoa, check this out. It's just absolutely incredible. The people are stereotypically Italian. <laughs> abundant, loud, and they love to be outside. They talk emphatically with their hands, they smoke a lot, they sip cappuccinos, and they're dressed impeccably. All right, let's explore. Man, I gotta say, it is so nice to drive around Sicily. There's nobody on the freeways, it's early morning, and it is freaking beautiful out here. The nature, watching the sunrise. So I'm just driving here, right? And there happens to be this massive, epic castle. I feel like I'm living in gladiator time. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Thank okay, you so thank much. Thank you. Bye. All right, I've got my ticket. And whoa, check this out. Holy shit. I was not expecting to see this in Sicily. This is the Temple of Juno, which is a Greek temple that was made in the 5th century BC. It's just absolutely incredible. What's cool is that the Valley of the Temples is situated on this big hill overlooking incredible countryside. We've got the ocean over there. Seeing the prickly pear cactus reminds me of being home. Check this out. I feel like we're in Arizona, but nope. This is Sicily. All right, it is time to fill up the car. Hello, diesel. Full, full, full. It's like the state of Oregon where a guy fills up the tank for you. Thirty-four euros fill up the tank. Not bad. I'm pulling up to the town of Agrigento in southern Sicily. It's a quaint little town on a hill. I'm looking for an espresso to wake me up. That's what's on my mind. I'm getting lost in the town here. All the little side streets, pretty cool. Part of the beauty of traveling to a place like Sicily is getting lost. Beautiful. Seems like we found a main part of town here with at least some coffee shops. Can I get a espresso and croissant? This is everything I want right now. A small espresso and a chocolate croissant. Sitting outside on the street somewhere in Sicily. It's really good. It's so great. I have just entered the historical city center of Palermo, the capital of Sicily. It's pretty dirty, to be honest. That's first impressions, but people out and about. I have one mission right now, and that is to get the famous Sicilian rice balls. If you don't know what it is, either do I. I'm about to find out. I think we have found the touristy section. I'm noticing a lot of pretty cool West African clothing like this. Pretty interesting to see. This is like street food paradise over here. Everywhere, every corner. Mostly seafood. Wow, this is a big ass swordfish. Fresh fruits, vegetables. Pretty epic if you ask me. Way better than I was expecting. This is pretty awesome, this market. Like literally you just turn the corner and you find a beautiful street like this. This lady's the best. She reminds me of that lady in uh, Uzbekistan. She could be friends with her. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh my god. Wow. It's rice, it's meat, it's peas and carrots. Really, really good. Like one rice ball could fill you up all day. I mean, there's a lot in here. No joke, this is so good. I gotta take a, a seat and finish it. Mm. I'm gonna go as far as saying this is one of the best street food snacks in Europe. Sicilian rice ball. Can I get some of these olives? Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's try these olives. I am obsessed with olives. <laughs> olives and pickles are like my favorite. 
Mm. With a pit inside. Mm. It's like a very strong flavored green olive. Vinegary, sour. Mm. This is like my happiest moment here in Sicily, this bag of green, fresh green olives. Mm. This part of the city feels like a big garage sale. Look at this, it's like random antique stuff. Actually pretty cool stuff to be honest. Just in case you need a new oven, this guy's got you right here for a stove. This place is wild, it's like chaos. Anything you could think of buying is here. Beautiful church slash Duomo here, unbelievable. I was even more of a flea market in front of the church here. It's gotta be because it's Sunday. It's my only conclusion here. Excuse me, how much? One euro. One? One euro. Thank you. One euro for this? Holy crap. See, how am I gonna get to 100 in this video? You know, the day has been really slow and quiet and calm. And this is like bustling. What a climax here in Palermo. There's a lot of life to this city. Nice to meet you. Of all things I've seen so far in Palermo, I think I'm most surprised how run down it is. I feel like I'm like walking the streets of New York in the different hoods and everything's a flea market. I should title this video, The City of Flea Markets and Tech Talks, like we're in India. How are you, bro? I realized that I only spend $65 on this video, and so the last $35 I donated to street beggars. In total, I got ticket to the temple, chocolate croissant, espresso, gas, Sicilian rice ball, a bag of olives, and a framed photo for $64.94. If you enjoyed this video, please comment your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to this channel for more awesome travels. And also I'm giving away a free digital version of my top 100 best travel photos of all time. All you have to do is click the link below and sign up for my free email newsletter and you'll be sent this straight to your inbox. Thank you guys. Stay safe, be spontaneous, and just go.